Hello, welcome to the 10th video in my conducting series. In this video, I'm going to talk about programming a concert. Programming a concert. This is something that I find to be very important to be a successful conductor, music director, artistic director. You need to be able to put together quality performances that make sense to an audience from beginning to end of the concert. It's not just about pieces of music you really like. It's not just about the best-selling soundtracks of the year because the combination of those pieces of music may not make the best performance. But if you can put together pieces of music that work well together, whether they all be under a similar theme or they somehow relate in other ways, it's finding that combination of music that really takes the audience on a journey, on a journey away from reality so that for two hours or three hours, they are taken out of their everyday lives taken to the world that you're creating, and then when they leave, they feel better because of it. There are three key things that I find are important to me in programming a concert. One is passion. I need to pick music that I'm passionate about. It doesn't necessarily mean Every piece of music from beginning to end of the concert is something that, that when I hear it, you know, I, I'm just totally connected to. There may be specific pieces in the concert that give me that feeling, and then the rest help create the experience around those pillars, as I'll call them, of the concert. But the initial spark for the programming of the concert must come from a place that I'm, a, that I'm passionate about that I can really connect to, so that when I'm on that podium, I'm passionate with what I'm doing, so that the musicians play better, and so that the audience is receiving a better communication. I want the music to be quality. Now, that, that, that could mean different things. I could be looking at it from the perspective of the technical aspect of writing a piece of music, does it stand up against Beethoven's Ninth? Does it stand up against Mahler, Tchaikovsky, Bach? Is it quality in that sense? But there are other measures of quality as well. How well has it been received by the masses? Is it something that from just an enjoyment perspective, this person hit the nail on the head, commercial success. Sometimes a piece of music deserves recognition. And I look for these and, and, and I balance them against each other to create the quality that goes into a concert so that audiences leave fulfilled, like they've received something that they, they were surprised by and they were pleased by. I want the concert to flow for the audience. That means different things in different scenarios, depending on the music you're playing, the location that you're playing, the purpose that you're playing it, what music you've picked. But dramatic flow is important. How well it goes from one piece to the next, where the pauses in the concert happen, where the talking in the concert happens. How do you, end, how do you start the concert? How do you end the first half? How do you start the second half? How do you end the entire concert? What do you use as an encore? How do you get into the encore? Do you talk at the beginning of the concert or go right into the first piece? Do you talk at the end of the concert or just leave the stage? Should the concert start theatrically with a curtain opening and the orchestra is revealed or should it start in a more standard concert kind of a, a presentation? All of these are questions that I look at answering when programming a concert and it evolves over time depending on the music that you're playing. And this is the reason why for me, this is the last element, the third item in programming a concert. After I know what I'm passionate about and I've picked music and I, then I, I, I put my quality stamp on it, I then look at the flow. And that helps me to sometimes cut certain pieces of music. Sometimes realize there's a piece of music that needs to be in there to make the flow work. Sometimes it changes the order that I'm going to perform the music. When you listen to a classical piece of music, like a Mahler symphony, Mahler has done the job of creating dramatic flow. 
In many cases, when a conductor is programming a concert, they don't have the luxury of performing a long enough piece of music that the composer has taken care of the dramatic flow for you. You're having to surround pieces with other pieces of music. And if you're doing it in the world of the Pops concert, then you really are, are having to pick anywhere from eight to 14 pieces of music to create that entire concert. You need to approach it with that same dramatic flow sense that a composer would approach structuring an entire piece of music. Thank you for watching. For more great videos, subscribe to the Maestro Fox YouTube channel. To learn more about the Maestro, visit StephenAllenFox.com.